Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me. Well, I am... Um, I thank... That's not much, is it? You should go... So, how did you end up in the service of... I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock... I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. This is our church, St. Matthew's. Scullets, good folk. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner, too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, what are you two screeching about? Stop making such a rough About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thing. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come... Can't you show us some Christian charity, Arbor? What? Have you any idea how much I... Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yes. That's true. What would you know of? I think you ought to give Jane. I gave her a caution yesterday and to... Well, you wouldn't want to look like a heartless bastard in front of the whole town, would you? No. There you go, then. Just a coin or a... Oh, for God's... Here you are. Thank you. See now?
And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can we can see we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. <laughs> it seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. Carson <laughs> the bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? Or is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. I'll have you. Show him your quarter, sir. Go on, the parade. Show him what's for. Beat him down. Beat him down. Beat him down! Ow! Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. So, Hannes, the bailiff ordered me to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> You spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting? Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Here I am. 
I'm overjoyed. Yes? Really? Actually, it's... Never mind. I don't really care. Good luck to you. Look here, Blacksmith. About that business at the ale house. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah! I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind, yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can. Listen, I wanted to ask you about scallops. I don't know if... Um, that is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The humans attacked scallops and, um... Oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Coming up, sir. At long last. So, I am, although we haven't actually hunted. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush 
is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, I mean, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footstep. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. What are we... Humans. What? You there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallops. I heard Sigismund had a hundred... I don't know, sir. Both of my parents were killed in Scallops, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over... A... All right. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. Yes, sir. Sir, wake up. What? I thought we were going to get an early start. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? God be with you. What are you waiting for? Your Oh, really? You wouldn't dare mock your... Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that... Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, after all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who has... <laughs> Bye. Ha! You'll soon be like... And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots. Whatever you do, don't go
How did the hunt go for you, sir? Have we got... Why do you ask? You were right on my ass the whole time. A pretty poor catch, Hen. See, unlike you, I know how... And now come along. Let's... See here? All up. And it's been freshly rooted. There'll be boar somewhere nearby. So, just like last time, slow and quiet, whatever you do, understand? Or well, watch out for them from the top of that mound there. Take him down with an arrow. Certainly. Why? Why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So. Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> Fuck! After him! Fetch! <laughs> Mount up, Henry! We're gonna chase down that swine!
Let's have a look at you. Henry! What the fuck happened? You turned up uninvited at some human social gathering. And you took them all? So it seems. God's holy britches! I never knew you had it in you, Henry. Remind... Ugh. Remind me never to get on the wrong side. That wound on your head doesn't look good. <sighs> Not to worry. I'm sure it doesn't look half as bad as it... Come along then, sir. It's Lord Capon! Get here, everybody! You, help him! How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. <laughs> I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. Well, he's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. <laughs> 